The Lion King Remastered is an outstanding achievement in creativity. I mean, the genius minds over at Disney needed to get very creative in order to justify a remake of their classic animated film, Kimba, The White Lion King. That film had amazing animation, and it was a great retelling of Shakespeare's classic, Hamlet. My friends, I'm afraid my time has come. Oh. Goodbye, our king! Goodbye! Oh, no. Although, the honor for best Shakespeare adaptation still goes to The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, for its rendition of Romeo and Juliet. But, the original Lion King is old and outdated like my phone. There are kids who have never seen the original and never will because the original is too old. I mean, have they ever seen a 2D film? But now, for the first time in their lives, they can see The Lion King. Redux. This marks the ninth time Disney has remade their own property. That's right, nine. In case you forgot about Pete's Dragon, Freaky Friday, and The Parent Trap. But here's the thing, I can't go back to these 2D animated films in good conscience. I mean, the CGI alone is gonna hold up so much better than the 2D films. No question about it. Good job, Beauty and the Beast. Even the storytelling and pacing is better in these films. Good job, Beauty and the Beast. But folks, the question we all want answers here today. Is the new Lion King better than the original? Yes! Yes! And I'm going to tell you why. You know what this film does that the original one couldn't? It gives us photo, realistic, graphics. Long live the king. One of the benefits of using animation is that it allows you to exaggerate features and characteristics of animals and gives them expressions which are like humans, but not quite. And the original captured all of this beautifully. It draws us into a world different from our own, a fantastic world that we can escape to. I mean, people go to the movies to escape the confines of their lives, right? Wrong! People don't want escapism. They want to watch films try to closely mimic real life, resulting in them being thrust deep into the uncanny valley and filling them with existential terror as they realize that their life is a nightmare like these terrifying, unhuman-like figures that they can't escape. And this is the reason why viewers were clamoring for a live-action version of The Lion King. Forget the lively, colorful expressions you can only get with animation. Check out these amazing, lively expressions with these photorealistic graphics. I mean, come on. You see the difference? Beautiful. Never, and I mean never, has an animal evoked such strong emotion from me. With traditional animation, it's too much. You know there's no way an animal can make those expressions. But with these realistic looking creatures, you can never tell what they're thinking, what their inner turmoil is. And that's just how it should be. Just like in my nature docs. Because we all want a realistic setting for our Lion King, that means the original version is no good with its vibrant colors spanning the entire rainbow. Because real life is devoid of color, we don't need striking reds, oranges, and blues. We now get a balanced color palette of greens and gray. Yes, this is good because nothing stands out. None of the colors really pop. Just like how we, the viewers, never really pop out in society. Hey, everyone can agree that the music in the original Lion King was perfect. And this film has all those songs too. But you know what this film has over the original? That's right. New songs. I mean, it comes down to basic math. The original Lion King has five songs. And the new one has six. Six greater than five means the remake wins. And on that note... Be prepared is way better in this film. I freaking love long movies, and the Lion King remake is 30 minutes longer than the original. 
filling it with details that no one was asking for, while avoiding the issue on everyone's mind. The incestuous relationship between Simba and Nala. Is Mufasa her father? I need answers, damn it. Finally, this film does what all good remakes should. Copy scenes directly from the original. I mean, all the familiar beats are here. You got your song about entitlement, your running away montage, and experiencing your childhood trauma, but now in glorious CG. All that was in the first Lion King is now here, but has been enhanced, if you will. Because those iconic scenes are made with modern day technology, why would you ever go back to something that's over 20 years old? Remember those horror remakes from the 80s? The Thing, The Fly, The Blob. Remember The Mummy, 1999? Heck, even throw the new Child's Play remake in there. These films try to tell their own stories, do their own thing, and only occasionally borrowed elements from the original. As a result, there are plenty of merits to watching both versions of the film. It's almost like watching two different movies. But guess what? They all suck. You know why? Because they were too different for their own good. Instead of trying to push their boundaries with their special effects or tell an original fun story, they should have just copied the original, only making minor differences to justify their existence. You know, I'm actually reminded in a lot of ways of the 1995 cycle starring Vince Vaughn. You all remember that one. The one which copied shot for shot Alfred Hitchcock's version. And you know, that's what your film should always be compared to. 1995 cycle starring Vince Vaughn. Fucking piece of shit film. And uh, wouldn't you know it, Disney just dropped a trailer for the new Mulan remake. You know, that one actually looks like it's trying to differentiate itself from its animated counterpart, and instead focus more on the actual Chinese story of Mulan. That means no Mushu, no Shang, no musical numbers, so no, I'll make a man out of you. It's going in a direction similar to what remakes of old did. So this film is going to suck. Well folks, it's safe to say that already The New Lion King is one of the greatest films of all time. I mean, with its timeless graphics and groundbreaking originality not seen in Hollywood today. This is the film that we all needed. Is it better than the original Lion King? Yes. And it is your duty to see this film. If Disney keeps remaking their classics, then it's only a matter of time until we get a remake of Song of the South.